Hey guys, it's Pinkstar and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing the Did I Read My Anticipated Releases list video. So we're going to go through my anticipated releases videos and see if I actually read them. Um, I don't think I read that many. But yeah, we'll keep a tally and see how many I actually managed to read and if I still want to read the ones that I haven't read. So... All right, here we go. I'm really, really looking forward to. Okay. And that is Daughter of the Moon Goddess oh, by yay. Sue Lin okay. Tan. I read this. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, yes, so I did read Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Um, so we're off to a good start. <laughs> um, I did only read it recently, though. I think, when did I read it? Like, October? Um, I did really enjoy this. It was almost a five star, but not quite. Um... Unfortunately, I felt like the pacing was a little bit off um, and would have liked a little bit more world, I don't know, a little bit more development. I don't know. I just wanted more. Okay, that's all there is to it. I just wanted more. I felt like they rushed through some of the side stuff that I actually would have really liked to have seen, but otherwise I loved this and I gave it a four and a half star. So yay, read it. <laughs> All right, what's next? So second on my list is the only one that is a sequel to a book that I've previously it's read. A sequel. Um, and this comes Ooh. out in February. It is The is House of Sky and Breath by Sarah House J. House of Mars. Sky and Breath. Read this one as well. <laughs> yes, I'm on a roll. Um, I love Sarah J. Mars. So there is to it, so course I absolutely loved this book um, I gave it a five star it definitely wasn't as good as the first one the first one is like one of my all-time favorites I absolutely love House of Earth and Blood um, but yeah I did really enjoy this and the ending was just crazy and I need the next book ASAP all right what is next <laughs> so far so good all right third on my list is another February book and this is this Woven Kingdom by Tahira Murphy. Okay, so I haven't read this. I do own it. It's on my Kindle, but I have not read this one yet. But obviously I do own it, so I will get around to reading it eventually. And obviously the second book's coming out next year, so I would like to read it and then read the second one if I like this one. So, yeah. Not too bad so far. All right, fourth on my list is another February okay. book. February is going to be a right, big lot of stuff came out so, in February. Yeah, bring on Feb, which is not far away. And that is Only a Monster by Vanessa Lynn. Oh no, and okay, I haven't read this yet either. I do own it. I bought this physical. Um, I've got a physical copy of it. So I will be reading it eventually, hopefully soon. Um, yeah, it was one of my most, like, I really want to read this book. Like, I don't know why I haven't got around to reading it yet. I just never got around to purchasing it until recently, so yeah. But anyway, I do own it, but I haven't read it yet. So, so far, two read, two and not read. <laughs> right, what's next? Right, number five is the last one for February, and this one is A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. And oh God. once again, beautiful cover. Okay, so... <laughs> Also haven't read this one, but I also own this one. <laughs> I'm not doing too great. So I do own, so far, all of my anticipated releases list, but I just haven't read them all. Yeah. But not doing so well. Um, yeah. All right, what's next? <laughs> Moving on to the first books of March, we have Gallant by V. E. Schwab. Oh, no. Okay, I haven't read Gallant either, and I actually don't even own Gallant. Um, this was like a lot of people's most anticipated last year, and I haven't heard the most amazing things about this book, so I'm on the fence as to whether I want to read it. I probably will eventually, but it's definitely not on the top of my to-read list at the moment. Alright, next. <laughs> this book that's coming out in March has actually already been released 
by the author. It's a self-published novel, but it's finally been picked up and it's actually been probably oh, this is what I think properly it is. released in March. And that is Speaking The Atlas English. Six by Olivia Blake. The Atlas Six. Okay, we're good. We're good. I read this one. I own it and I've read it. So yay, I gave this a four star and um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. The beginning, I wasn't sure whether I was going to like it or not because... I don't know, it's just weird getting used to the characters and because each chapter is from a different character's point of view and it's very science-y based. Um, but yeah, I did really enjoy it, especially towards the end. Um, the twist was really good. So yeah, looking forward to the second book of this one, which I also own. All right, so we're catching back up. <laughs> it's one coming out in May. And this is Book of Night by Holly Black. All right, yay. Okay, another one that I purchased and have read. Um, unfortunately, didn't like this one as much as others. I can't remember what I gave this. I think I gave it a three or a three and a half star rating. It was okay. The, the idea of it was really interesting and the ending was really good. But I just didn't really like the main character that much and felt like they didn't really explain the shadow magic that well um yeah so i was on the fence with this one as to whether i'm actually going to continue with the series i probably will read the next one just to see what happens because i'm just like that <laughs> even if i don't really enjoy a first book i seem to want to read the next one just to give it the benefit of the doubt to see whether it's something that i will actually like like maybe it gets better. I don't know. But yeah, I probably will end up reading the second one, but this was just average read for me. But I did read it, so yay. All right, <laughs> what's next? Second to last is another one coming out in May, and this one is Forging Silver into Stars by Bridget Kimura. Um, I'm not sure if I said her last name right. Everyone says okay, it Okay, so haven't read this one. Um, also don't own this one. So yeah, not so great. I bought a few of Bridget Camara's books, but I haven't managed to get around to purchasing this one. I probably will get it, um, and read it sometime next year. It's not on the top of my to be read list, but I do still want to read it at some point. All right, next. <laughs> All right, moving on to the last book that I have here um, for my top 10, and that is Our Crooked Hearts okay. by Melissa Albert. This comes out in June. So, yes. Um, no, I haven't read this one. Um, I haven't purchased this one. So, yeah. Um, don't know if I will end up reading this one. All I know is that it does have something to do with witches and I've been going off witchy books a little bit so I'm not 100% sure if I will pick this up or not. Um, I haven't heard that much about it so I don't know. If you've read it and you like it and you think I'll like it, let me know but otherwise I probably won't purchase this one anytime soon if at all. I don't know but yeah. Alright so that's the first half of the year so let's go to the second half of the year video and see what I had on that. All right first up we have Violets Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. Okay. This is a darkly enchanted. <sighs> it's not getting any better. Um, no I haven't read this one, don't own it, um, haven't heard the best things about this so I don't know if I will actually get this. If I do I'll probably get it on Kindle probably wait till it's like cheaper to read it but yeah it's just not something that I'm that interested in at this stage. Right, next up we have These Twisted Bonds by Lucy Oh These Ryan. Twisted Bonds okay yes I have read this one so I read the first book um the very beginning of this year and I really loved that book and then I read this one didn't like it as much I think I only gave it four stars out of five it was good it just wasn't as 
amazing as I wanted it to be. I thought it was going to end up being a five star after all the betrayals and everything that happened in the first one was so amazing. But no, wasn't that amazing. I did really enjoy it though and I'm glad that I've finished that duology. All right, what's next? Right, next up we have Babel by Arif Kwong. All right, so yes, <laughs> I haven't read Babel yet. I really want to read Babel like ASAP, so it's going to be a priority for the beginning of next year. 100% need to read it um, because I've just heard such amazing things about this book. I do own it. I own the Fairy Loot edition of this one, and it's so pretty. It's like one of the prettiest books that I own. So yeah, we'll definitely read it, just haven't yet. We have The Book Eaters by Sun Yadin. All right, The Book Eaters. <laughs> Oh, no, I haven't read it. Um, I don't even own this one. <sighs> yeah, I tried to get an arc of this, but I didn't get it. And um, I just haven't got around to getting it since. Um, I probably will get it on Kindle. I don't think I'll get a physical copy of this. I haven't heard the most fantastic reviews. Some people really enjoyed it. They said it's interesting, but it's not like... A new favorite for anybody so yeah I think this will just be like a Kindle purchase at some stage but yeah all right next and next up we have the dragon's all promise right the dragon's promise um I haven't even read the first book so I don't know why I was even thinking that this was a good idea to put on my anticipated releases list because yeah that involved me reading the first one first and then reading this one and I might not even like the first one even though I think I will um yeah <laughs> good job Rebecca mm -mm -mm. um yes so no I haven't read this yet I haven't read Six Crimson Cranes I need to read that one and then read this one I love the covers they're just stunning all right what's next Next up we have A Whisper in the Night by Tina Marti. This is about an arranged Whisper marriage. Whisper in the Night. Um, yep. Haven't read this. I think I own it though on my Kindle. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I did get this on, on Kindle. I don't have my Kindle on me, but I'm pretty sure I've got this on Kindle. So I will read it eventually, just haven't yet. <laughs> Alright, what's next? So we have The Ballad of Never After, Ballad of Never After. by Tiffany Garber. Okay, um, it's not getting any better, is it? I haven't read this. I haven't read the first book. I do own both of them. <laughs> so, yes, I really need to read these ASAP. I do know that the third book's coming out, I think, next year. So, I need to hurry up and get on to these. But I did want to read Caraval first, and I still haven't read that. So, yes. Doing fantastic right now. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Can't be any worse. Next up we have Foul Lady of Fortune by Connie oh, okay. Gong. Okay, don't even own this one. Um, yes, I haven't even read her first series. I just, I think I just jumped on the hype train with a couple of these, especially this one. This one, I don't really know if I will even enjoy it. I do know the second book's coming out next year, so I do want to read it um, and see what happens, but yeah, I don't know. It's not on the top of my list, but I do love the cover. It's really pretty. I think I'm a cover person. I just, I see a cover that I love and I'm like, yeah, I want, I want to read that. And then I just never get around to it. <laughs> All right, what's next? Next up, we have Fairy Tale by oh, Stephen gosh. King. All right, Fairy Tale by Stephen King. Mm, no, haven't read it. Don't own it. Do want to read it and do want to own it, probably. Um, I went to purchase it at one stage but didn't. And I tried getting it out of my library, but they didn't have it. So I still haven't read it yet. Um... Yeah, we will get around to reading this one because I do really want to read this. All right, Next what we have we got? Defend the Dawn. Defend the Dawn. <laughs> um, yeah, I still haven't read that one either. Um, so I haven't read Defy the Night. <laughs> haven't read Defend the Dawn. I do own both of them. So, 
here. Um, need to <laughs> get on to reading these books that I own. Um, yep. Yeah. All right. What's next? So next we have the Atlas Paradox by Oliver. The Blake Atlas Paradox. Okay. I own it. Haven't read it yet, but as I said, I've read the Atlas Six, and I do really want to read the Atlas Paradox. So that will be one that I read early next year because, um, yeah, I really want to read it and find out what happens. All right, <laughs> second to last. Second to last. We have what do we got? Thorns Chain of Thorns. Okay, Thorns. they got pushed back, so that's fine. It hasn't come out yet. That is next year, so be on my anticipated releases for next year. Still waiting for this one. All right, and last we have Heart of the Sun Warrior. <laughs> By Sir Lin Tan. I hadn't read Daughter of the Moon Goddess at the time of recording this video, but now I have, and I love that. And I am really looking forward to picking up Heart of the Sun Warrior. I'm actually, I've been looking for it, and I haven't actually found it in any of my stores yet. Because I live in New Zealand, we get quite a few things a bit later, because obviously shipping, etc. So. Yeah, hopefully I can pick this one up soon. Um, if they've got it in the shops today, I might actually purchase it. But yeah, this is one that I really want because I loved the first book and I want to read the second one and find out what's going to happen. So yeah. All right, so that was it. That was all of my anticipated releases for 2022. Um, did I read many of them? Nope. <laughs> Do I own a lot of them? Yes. Um, yeah. Surprising, actually. I thought, I don't know, I thought I would have read a little bit more. I don't know, I kind of, nah, what am I kidding? I, I didn't think I read hardly any of them, to be honest because I'm terrible like that. Um, but yeah, I did read a few, so that's good. And I do own a lot of them, so, you know, I did actually want to read them. I intended to read them. The intention was there, just didn't happen because I ran out of time. That's what I'm gonna hold on to. Anyway, that is it for this video. If you did like it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, comment down below if you have read any of these books and you did like them, um, or if there's anything that you think I should pick up in the new year. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.